Hey guys, what's up? I wanted to show you how you can make a banner. Um, it's kind of as I was making my other video, I thought this is, you know, we're kind of doing the, the same thing, but this will be real quick and with the little code thing I'm, I'm creating, I thought I might just go ahead and add this so that you can make some your own banners for your own site. It's real simple. Um, first off, you want to get GIMP, and I'll provide a link. It's a free photo editing software tool if you if you don't have any photo editing software, or it's similar to Photoshop, and it will you know it's 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 pretty robust. But I'll show you some steps that um, you can take with some photo tricks and some real simple things that you can do. This this uh, image I have up here is the banner that we're going to create, although I need to make it bigger and that's why I wanted to show you this because it's real easy and um, once you do it you'll you'll get the hang of it and you can go and and start creating your own banners which you click on this and then it can take you whatever. But uh, anyway let's get started. I'll give you the download for, for, for GIMP. So you in GIMP you just go and you um, actually called GIMP. And like I said before, hopefully it brings it up quick. You got all kinds of things going. But this is really cool. Um, actually what I'm gonna do I'll show you once it opens. But once you're in GIMP you want to hit open. Or no I take the back sorry. When I go to new And your create new image size. Um, I think on the island blogs, if you stay with a width of around 300, you should be cool. And then your height, I'm just going to start off with 400. Now, here is an important part to remember. I just bumped this up to 100 for resolution. And I make my background color transparent. That way, if you have a color back there, it'll show through, or you can make it. Um, background color or white or whatever. I always choose transparency because I like to manipulate some of the colors that I'm going to do. So either way, um, hit OK. And we have a new window with our template. Now, the banner that I'm going to create, I'm going to use a blue background. Now, <clears throat> one thing you can do to get your colors, <clears throat> you know, figure out whatever colors you like, is uh, let me bring this back up as you go here and you can drag this thing all over and make your own colors in here doesn't matter but I have a color that I'm going to use for this and it's this blue color if you see these numbers these reference the colors so just keep that in the back of your mind because we're going to use this number later and I'll show you a cool trick to find these numbers like if you like a color on an image that you're trying to match I'll show you a cool trick with this GIMP tool that you can use to um, to bring that in, but we're gonna we're gonna pick this color. So I'm gonna pick it. Okay. Okay. These are the tool options. That's for that's for writing out words. But this toolbox is all the little tools that you can use. Now I want to create a gradient, um, and if you hover over everything, it'll tell you what it is. But I'm gonna create a gradient. And this, create, this gradient, I want to make sure it's fade to transparent because I'm using a transparent background. You can play with all these, and I recommend just get in here and, and going crazy and you know creating what you want. But I'm going to use this. So once you select it, all you do, you can either go from top down, like this, and it'll pull the gradient. And you just keep going over it until you get it to you know dark up here. However you want your gradient to go. Um, it'll go that way if you want it to go the other way and you can hit control Z to undo or if you hit if you right click you can do an undo that way too. right click or get undo I think it's up in where's that edit maybe yep this will be highlighted once you do something or undo history um, but to gradient to go up you just go that way and the solid will be at the bottom so I'm gonna hit well, let me show you see undo blend and it just makes it 
but I want mine to go this way, so I'm going to have it that way. Okay, so I have my blue. Now the next step of creating my banner, I'm going to go and get, you want to open as a layer, because you're going to just, this is just building as a layer. So I'm going to open as layer, and I am going to get, Of stuff in here. Now the cool thing about GIMP is it shows you over there on the right. Um, I think it's that one. Nope. That one. That's us. Nope. That one. Nope. Where is that at? see this is where I have all of all of my pictures sorry to go through this but I'm just gonna have to blast through here and find it but that's a cool thing you can go through here and you can see I mean these are some of the some of the pictures that I've created in here some that I've grabbed off the line so I use this program quite a bit, and that's the one I want right there. So I'm going to use this. It's going to open it up as a layer, and it's going to put it in here. Now, what I do is you have to have everything highlighted, and if you see over here, you'll have your layers. So this is the background. This is another layer. And you want to make sure you have these selected that you want to work on. So I want to make this, this layer bigger. So you go up into the layer. You want to scale layer and you want to keep this chain locked so it keeps the proportions good and I know my width is 300 so I'm going to go ahead and make it 300 and hit scale and then it just automatically brings it up to the width and if you lose your toolboxes just move them around on here until you can find them and I want to move this up just a little bit so I click this will this will move all your images around so I just want to click this and I click this instead of using my mouse you can use your arrow keys move it to wherever you want so I'm gonna move it up a little bit and then another let's see if Gimp's up here um, right here this is Gimp Gimp.org it's free it's very easy I'll provide the link so you guys can go download it and you can do it on Mac or PC if you don't have photo editing program yet but um, I am I use I use um, Google Docs to create my images because like right now you can see this is skinny from another website that I had um, I need to make this bigger to fit our ILN but I'm just duplicating this so you can see it but the the type that GIMP has it it's not real crisp so what I do is I recreate this using Google Docs and if you have a Gmail account, just go into your Gmail account and you go into here and you go down to Drive and you click on Drive and you'll come to this page right here. The next thing you do is you just create and you can do this is just like Microsoft Office but it's Google's version and I want to do a drawing. So I have my drawing now. I got a references. I'm going to write this media live. And you can. This is just what I'm using. Media live inventory available to members only. Um, so here's what you go. And this is in Google Docs. So I want to go up to insert. And the reason I'm using the text here is because it's a lot crisper. You'll see in a second what I'm going to do. So I just drag out a box. And I just. can't spell but it's a good thing for spell checker and my memory immediate live inventory available to members only and I remember remember we're going this is the width and it's going down here so I can probably get away with two lines immediate live inventory available to members only okay so immediate 
live inventory. Sorry if I'm talking just how I remember. Line two. that out and then you highlight anything you want to change to highlight I'm gonna highlight because I want to increase the font and I am gonna make this as big as I can because we're gonna reduce it okay so it looks pretty funky here so we may just go down to 60 and if you if it'll let us sometimes when you re stretch these out it'll automatically do it we might have to drop this down it's not gonna be 60 but that's that's how I want this to look and then close up your box a little bit and then highlight it again and I want to in Google Docs I believe it's under more I, I like my stuff centered a little bit so I'm gonna center it okay and it's black if you notice sure the cursors and you notice it's a black you remember how I was telling you I'm going to show you this trick if you bring an image in here let me show you on this one if you bring an image in here this little eyedropper deal let's say you wanted to pick up the blue in the ocean so you take the eyedropper tool and all you do is you click right on the color you want and did you notice down here how it changed watch this little box while I pick another color um, pick his hair. You see how that changed? So all you do is you click on that and this number right here will tell you the color. So like I said, just anytime you want to find a color to match when you're when you're doing your own banners or you're doing anything on your website, um, this may be a little bit more involved, but if you really want to find a color, like say your 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 whole look is revolved around this picture and you grab a color off your picture and you want your type to pick up a certain color that's in that picture this is a great way to find this number because when you go in your type and I'm going to show you here in a second why it's important um, but here's what I wanted to do the color yellow that's in this one this is how I find my colors I, li I like this color and I picked it off of my website so I got the color yellow okay and it's in here all I do is I copy and paste that number right there okay and then I go back over here to Google documents and it's highlighted and you go up to the text color and you see how it's hitting you go down here to custom and then you just highlight leave that hashtag there and paste in your number and voila you got your color hit OK bang it's the same color now the next step that I'm gonna do I'm gonna label this and you can save these however you want I just label it like that except let me just change it Whoop. okay and hit OK and you want to download as a PNG and then download I, I already know it's going but save it wherever you can find it okay and then we go back to our image here and then you want to open this is back in GIMP so you want to open as a layer because we're adding another layer on top of this we're just building you know building a uh, just think of it as floors you know on the first floor is our background it's kind of a bad analogy but hopefully you get the point um, and then okay I need this word anyway So I want to open that one, and you see how big it is. So we want to go 
back to this tool and make sure it's selected and you go into layer hit scale layer and see how it's 960 pixels wide so we only know it's 300 so I'm gonna probably go about 270 on width and always leave that chain linked up and hit scale um, but here's the one thing I wanted to show you see this whole area right here you really only need this word so I'm gonna what you can do is go into GIMP and open up a new one just hit open and then open up this is the word we need see how all that area you don't need all that area so I'll show you how to crop that out and you hit open okay and that one opened up another window there we go okay it's transparent background this is the cropping tool about all this and all you do is you just grab drag the box around here make sure your words in there and you can crop pictures this way too and then you just click right in the middle and it's done and you already have it saved as a word you want so you just go in the file and you hit save and you're done let me show you something back over here in Google Docs when you do save um, or you do new or you insert anything um, let's do another drawing and I'll show you something So I am going to actually delete this one and bring in my other one. So all you do to delete it is you highlight it and hit the trash can and it's gone. So we'll go back up to GIMP and I'll open as a layer because I resized it. And see how it brought it down? that's what I'm looking for okay and then we'll go back up into layer make sure it's highlighted right here hit layer scale layer and I want to do 270 and we might go a little bigger let's make it 280 okay let me grab our move tool usually centers it right on there and I'm just using my arrow keys to get this thing to move and just wherever you think you know however you want it placed you know that's cool and I'll show you a filter trick if you go up here into filters I want to make this a bevel I'm gonna end up making this look like a bevel so I'm gonna go up into filters go into decor I want to add bevel and you can play with this I'm just gonna leave it at five and I'll show you what it does just gives a little dimension to the to your thing see how you kinda of see see what it does it just kinda of gives a little highlights and stuff um, it's just a little better looking than that so we'll work off of this one and then we want to open another leather because I'm going to put that type that I created in Google Docs over here. So we're going to need to do the same thing to that. So you go back in and find out wherever you saved it. And this is this is where I saved it. And it opened up a new one. Let's see. That one. And yeah, now I got a crap load of windows open. Okay, there it is. I'm going to going to crop this down so you go back over to your tools if your tools hidden like that just all you have to do is just drag these around and find it so I want to crop and drag 
like this and then you can just move this around to make sure you get it all all in there Oop, cut my, there we go okay so that looks cool to me click in the middle bang it's done remember to go up and save and then we can close this So, alright, now, I'm going to open his layer, because I'm going to put another layer on top, and this is the one I want, right there. Okay, so we go back up in the layer, because we know it's too big, scale layer, it's 822, let's do... 280 the same width. And let's see, that looks like. I'm just going to use my. Okay, now if this gets to be. If it looks too small, the only thing when you do it this way is that you'll have to go back over and recreate it in Google Docs if you don't like the way it looks. So I'm going to scale this. I'm going to bump this up. Okay. And I'll show you another trick that we can do. Let me just make that... Let me just make this 295. Make it just a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to actually add that, go back into the layer, and I'm going to add this bevel. There's a whole bunch of things you can do in here that's pretty cool. You just have to get in here and play around, but I just want to show you. The reason I add the bevel, you see, you can really see the difference. You can really see the difference in type. It kind of makes it pop. Now. Every time you add that filter, it's going to create a new window because it's just going to keep building on here. So, I'm going to show you a trick. Instead of me going and recreating this type, let me just bump this up just a little bit. You know, just design. I mean, if you want the type to come in here, you know, you can you can take it in there. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. And, um, you can rotate type, you can do all kinds of stuff, like here I'll show you, just real quick. So you can spin it around, you can you can do all kinds of cool stuff. But I'm actually going to reduce the image size a little bit. I want to move this up just a little more. And this is all just taste, you know, if you like it a certain way, cool. Um, and if you don't want to see all the guides, you just come over here to view. And you hit that and you can see it kind of all broken out. But I'm going to take the bottom of this and move it up. And how you do that is an image. And you want to go to canvas size. And you unhook the chain. And we're going to take this 400. And we're probably, this is in pixels. So I'm just going to guess. Uh, let's make it 300 and see what happens. We'll hit resize. It's too much. So you hit that. And we'll go to. 50. Okay. And that's how you change it. That's how you change your camera. These are just some these are just some quick deals. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm pretty happy. This is a pretty much down and dirty one, but here's another thing that I want to show you over here in these layers. These little eyeballs over here. If you get a lot of stuff going on, you're like, how do I select or if something selects? you know, or something looks like this, I'm going to just move these around and make stuff disappear. You can see, like, let's say that happens, makes just just select on, on any one of these and just bring it through. Like, this type down here is behind a layer, so we'll click on that and then we'll just bring it up until it pops. But the other cool thing you can do is you can hit these eyeballs and turn that image off. If you want to just work on this, you know, you just hit the eyeball, turn
turn everything on or off or whatever you want to do it's you know it's, it's pretty cool and it'll allow you to work on that layer so that's just a quick way to make a banner and you can do whatever you want so let's keep going I know this is this is getting to be a little bit long but we're gonna do a save do this is a save as okay and name I'm gonna name this not specials banner I'm gonna do an update because I already have one of these okay and then I have an external hard drive I save all this stuff on so save it wherever you want and then I just make sure that I put it in the folder it's in the folder I want and then here's the important part I usually save everything as a PNG you can save stuff as a JPEG PNG is usually pretty good for bringing into websites yeah I got you I know you're busy um, so I just save everything as and hit save and it'll ask you to do all this just hit export hit save okay now I'm gonna have you do one other thing because this will save you some time if you do another save as see how that says PNG come down here and save it as a GIMP XCF image too now why you do that is because if you need to come back in here and change something or you don't like the way it looks if you use the PNG version you don't have the layers to work on you have to just, you have to recreate the whole thing this way if you save it as a XCF you'll be able to come back in here open up that file <coughs> excuse me and make the changes hang on for a second let me get a drink of water here guys all right and um, that's that so remember about photo bucket I told you about <coughs> let's see if it's uh, if it'll uh, allow us to play nice now like it is so I'm gonna go into upload and then I'm gonna choose my photo make sure let's see choose my photo and I gotta remember what the heck I called that thing um, yeah it's a problem I have sometimes that I call that thing Hot specials, wasn't it? I think so. Yep, there it is. Okay, so it's doing its thing. And right here it is. Now this is the trick to making it a banner. Before, Photo Bucket was going crazy. And this is going to be a similar step that you're going to do in the other video that I have. So you can see I just uploaded this. And you can see by making it transparent how it kind of kept, it's picking up the white back there. But here's the cool part. You come over here and you see this, remember earlier I told you you can instant message this, you can direct, which is actually just a link. And then the HTML and an image link. Okay. You want the HTML just hit that until it copies and then we're gonna come back over to our blog okay this is a banner now I'm gonna do something here you're in your ILM blog I if just log into your ILM blog and um, I'm just gonna make this a banner Grab a text, this one here, drag it up, come on there, okay, and you want to open it up, and you put your cursor in here, and then you just paste it in, 
here's all the wonderful code okay now to make this a clickable banner this is real simple guys you have to grab now when you're grabbing when you're grabbing um, stuff in here let me blow this up so you guys can see what I'm doing okay when you're grabbing code you need to be real specific this code right here and this is the this is the code this right here is the link second okay it didn't save so go back over to your photo bucket go to your picture and hit, hit this one right here to what copies and then we'll come back over here and we'll paste it in now we're gonna go this is the link that goes to photo bucket Okay, so just highlight that, and then you go to your. Okay, this is the this is the link. I'm just gonna erase it. put that in there and it's done first we want to click save okay and I'm gonna grab I know where my link is so I'm gonna make this real easy go and get your link if it's an affiliate link you're going to use um, you know go wherever you get your affiliate link because you can make a banner for anything for whatever you're doing business whatever I'm using ILN and I'm using an ILN blog and I'm part of Global Resorts Network so I'm using my um, Global Resorts Network link and you paste it in there just like that and you hit save let me get this back down to where it's manageable oh. okay so we save that and then we'll come over here watch my other videos you've seen we've been here so this is this is our banner right here in our widget okay so you see how there's an arrow and then you click as soon as you click on it and you this is uh, you have to double make sure you just double make sure that it's going to your links okay that's the most important part and if you need to check this again I usually have two windows open and you can't see it because of my my screen but I have another window so you just want to make sure it's open and you want to make sure that you grab the right code and you double check yourself and guys that's it that's how you make a banner it's real simple um, don't let code scare you just take your time and do it and uh, you'll be ready to rock and roll so 
Uh, that's kind of a little bonus thing I, I threw in here because there's you can do a lot with that. So I hope you enjoy, and uh, the other videos are coming soon. So it'll be a, a nice little package for you. you can you can use these and do whatever you need to to uh, to really uh, link and create some cool stuff for your site. All right, talk to you later. See you in a bit. Bye bye.